even though your concerns are very bangalore driven your stories are pretty universal uh, so do you think yeah. that's work for you because you play a very unself consciously indian music mm-hmm. uh, with a western idiom mm-hmm. so what does that do when you're playing outside how do they look at you are they looking at you like an exotic band <laughs> Well, the very first time we toured abroad in 2006 when we went to the UK, a lot of our peers in the local industry said, man, you're going to fail miserably because you don't have a sitar, you don't have a dholak, you don't have a tabla, you don't have any ragas, you're playing rock music and they have enough rock music there. Why would they want to listen to you? I mean, they've got enough and more bands playing rock, you know. So, but we weren't about to change anything, so we went and played. And uh, this, this word exotic that you just mentioned, very strangely doesn't doesn't creep up much in conversations that we've had with people there who come to the gigs they just say man we can't tell where you where you guys are from i mean you're brown so you're probably you know asian or something and the whole word asian is so so pretty confusing over there but uh, uh, but the music in terms of the rock it is also is so unusual that many of them were, were simply captivated they were like what is this stuff i mean it's it's familiar in one way because it's guitar based drums english vocals i know the words you're talking but the rhythms you're playing the kind of song structures the stories you're telling me aren't something that i'm familiar with so it didn't require uh, the stereotypical exoticism of a sitar or a tabla or a raga to make it exotic is just that being who you are is enough at some level if if who you are is interesting enough uh the, and the stories are telling are interesting for, for their for their own intrinsic reasons there's no reason to to push it under some overtly stereotypical exotic thing just to sell it you know and and this is what we were thinking before we left on the tour but when we when we came back and after all our five star reviews and stuff over there we knew it was it was a fact we didn't need to do anything we just had to keep writing the music that we did express ourselves the way that we best did and that was enough there was no need to do anything else and and since then we've been all you know, all over the world you know and playing uh, strange gigs in hong kong in the maldives in seattle and and it doesn't matter as long as you deliver what you're doing with with honesty and integrity and and being true to yourself it's fine you know that's all you need so why why do anything that's not you and you've played everywhere you know be the burn festival or yeah. java jazz fest and yeah. mosaic festival edinburgh yeah. fringe yeah and you've put yourself out there on the map now what does that kind of travel do to your band bands becoming you know because you you sort of have this distorted reality when you live like a traveling musician right so you go around all of these places and come back to your place in bangalore mm-hmm. what do you bring to your music <laughs> all kinds of things i think the last year's experience of the fringe changed uh, didn't change us fundamentally but there were so many things that again clicked into place in terms of uh, our understanding of what it is to be an artist what it is to be a musician what it is to do this kind of oddball music that is not mainstream that might never become the next you know 6 billion view hit on youtube um the fringe really does that to you because it's an incredible incredible festival with all kinds of artists and uh, dancers and jugglers and sword swallowers and you know every possible kind of art out there and you have some amazingly talented fantastic performances that are being presented to four people and uh, on one night and 200 people the next night so you 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 you're faced with every possible thing that an artist whose only concern is his work right you're faced with every possible thing you'll be on the streets giving people flyers to get them to your gig or they are they not going to know about it because you're one among 3500 performers right uh, and the next night you see some of them uh, at your gig and they're there only for you they've paid 10 pounds on a completely unknown quantity they're walking into this thing saying i have no idea who these guys are i saw a flyer it looked interesting so here i am you know and i've paid 10 pounds for the pleasure and so it's your duty in that one 45 or one minute one hour stretch that you have to tell them what you are and if that's enough to excite them then that's all it is and it doesn't matter if there are 4 people or 100 people or 4000 people it's the same that's one thing that the fringe teaches you you know it's it's about your work at the end of it whatever that work is and so that that that's a fundamental change in in how you view it and you know people have these things about oh if you're a rock star you know you you you, you get flown everywhere you get put up in five star hotels you're eating six different kinds of cheese with your breakfast and you know you can't be on the streets giving flyers but man it's if it's about your work that's also just as important as eating you know <laughs> six different kinds of cheese it's uh, it's part of your work that's all okay bruce tell me a little bit about your songwriting process you know say for instance a song like terrible trouble which is a sort of a deviation from all the stuff that you were doing before that uh, what happens first is that a lyric or a chord it's very i have to say for me personally it's it usually starts with words with lyrics and but it's not always the case uh, there isn't really one way that i write songs 
Uh, sometimes I'll have snatches of you know some progressions or some melodies that have, that have been lying around for years and then I write some lyrics and suddenly it seems to fit. So it isn't really one thing but uh, Terrible Trouble did begin with, uh, with, with the lyrics and uh, uh, I guess it's kind of a in some ways universal tale of uh, you know it, it, it was written for my father-in-law actually so I don't know if I mentioned that don't watch this dad don't so <laughs> but, but uh, you know how it is you know uh, when when you're seeing a girl and uh, this whole thing about first she had the audacity to choose her own person yeah. <laughs> second it wasn't the same community not the same religion uh, not the software engineer working in USA a musician I mean can you get worse than that I mean all four big X you know no chance this is not going to happen so so yeah when, when you're in a situation like that this is the kind of song you write so it's terrible trouble it's terrible trouble Look any which way, it's terrible trouble Look any which way, it's terrible trouble There she goes now, there she goes now You're screaming why me, she's going anyhow You're ready to explode, but she's going anyhow Try to make it easy But you're tied up inside Screwed up inside Screaming why me But there's nowhere to hide Screaming why me But there's nowhere to hide Try to make it easy I know it's the way you're coming from Maybe you should smoke some You gotta take a different view See what you become I know it's the way you're coming from Maybe you should smoke some You gotta take a different view See what you've become You can make it easy You can make it easy You can make it easy You can make it easy, make it easy. But you make terrible trouble Terrible trouble Look any which way, terrible trouble I want a heart fairly, I'm not an also ran Don't you think it might be part of a bigger plan? Don't you think it might be part of a bigger plan? Try to make it easy But you make terrible trouble, terrible trouble What will they all say? Terrible trouble What will they all say? Terrible trouble Try to make it easy I know it's a painful mouthful But don't take it so hard You really can't be too careful Just give us a start I know it's a painful mouthful But don't take it so hard You really can't be too careful Give us a start easy you can make it easy but you make terrible trouble terrible trouble look any which way terrible trouble terrible trouble oh, terrible trouble try to make it easy but you make terrible trouble that's it <laughs> My show is validated. <laughs> <laughs>